I-90 trail again. Good times. I'm at 93% charge. It estimates something like 17 miles of range. Well, we'll do this climb and see how it fades the battery. I've got my charger, my phone charger, just like my road trip yesterday. Woohoo! Found this spot to charge right here at the Isaco Maintenance Complex, a little closer than the other light post charger from yesterday. That's some serious, like, AC smoke in here. Wow. Driving through the forest. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of bumpy, not too bad. Went from 100% to 56% in about three miles, although we're going up the Cascade Mountains here. This is called Snoqualmie Pass. So, you know, climbing hills saps batteries in electric vehicles. I used to have a Nissan Leaf. Well, I leased a 2013 Nissan Leaf for two years, and then in 2017 I bought a used Nissan Leaf, a 2015, and I drove that for two years, and we traded it out for my wife's Prius. At any rate, the reason I'm talking about this is the Segway here, that guy right there, I get down here like this, this Segway, as I mentioned in my last video, it's six and a half years old. Yeah, it's got more than 750 miles on it now. 
So I'm literally doing an odometer challenge where I'm gonna try to log in and ride the thing until its battery is fried. The interesting part will be to see how long the electric motors can go. I've already changed the tire on one of the two in-wheel motors. Wow, two tire bars and coconut oil in like an hour. It's not easy to change. Getting that rubber on there, oh my goodness. I imagine um, chilling the motor and heating the tire so it's softer. I'm gonna try that next time. Well, at any rate, this is a riding vlog, so I'm just documenting that I'm going through this amazingly beautiful stretch of forest. And it's called gliding when you ride on a Segway. I don't know why I didn't come up with that term. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day. the trail converts from gravel to asphalt. It smooths out and you go from ju -ju 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 to buttery smooth. Isn't that nice? It's right before this indoor tube tunnel here. We're going to go through the tunnel so I can show you some of the artwork. Broken metal halide lamp where the bulb is shattered but the power's on so it's humming. This is where the two trails meet. You can see it's 
see this one right here goes up to the Issaquah Highlands and that one continues on to the I-90 Trail where I just came from. This is some very smooth, fresh asphalt through here. Absolutely buttery smooth. Thanks, you, thanks to King County. Thank you, King County. Appreciate that. Parks and trails, recreation. Love this trail, the I-90 Trail in Issaquah, Washington, USA. Woohoo! Buttery smooth and paved. Got them tires rolling on the pavement. See how it goes like this. Um, they're everywhere, these cell towers. They gotta hide them so that people can connect. And have a look at this cell tower here. Look at that amazing RF antenna equipment at the top. Wow. 5G LTE little bricks, 4G, I mean 5G NR and 4G LTE. There's the support shack down at the base. You can see all the RF equipment enclosures there, like that. That's an actual rock quarry in Issaquah. Can you believe that? Look at that. It's a mine. They mine rocks here. Alright, this is the way back here. I've got to go across the freeway part here and cross traffic. Woo! A little bump there. And then we shoot down here like this along the side of the road. Nice wide sidewalk. Variable though, and it's a sketch. There's some like sections that are goofy. There's a driveway to nothing here, for example. Up ahead, there's a real deep rut that goes kaboom. And if you're not watching, it throw you off. See, right here. This is deceptively bad right there. Bam, bam, like that. This is an overpass, that's I-90 above us. That's interstate I-90, that's what's up there. And these are cars right through here, see? They're getting on the highway, they're going to the restaurants, they're gonna go shopping. This is, I'm heading into downtown Issaquah here. <laughs> 